Community Government Affairs person for Cornell Tech. Thank you so very much for coming, uh, for coming to our computer training. Today, as you know, uh, we have training on, of course, just Google search or working with Google Maps. Go walk down the street you grew up on. We'll, we'll teach you how to do that. And very, very importantly, internet safety. There's a lot of things that we all need to know to keep ourselves safe on the internet. And I would like to thank a few people. First and foremost, our graduate students from Cornell Tech. All right. And this is from the New York Public Library. We have Brandon King, Diane Chin, Nicole, and Nicole Nelson. Nicole Nelson. And you should know if you don't already that they are here. They are here on Fridays in the computer lab from 10:30 to 11:30. Some of you know, some of you don't. But they're our heroes. They're terrific, and we're really glad that that you're that you're here as well. And then, where is Mohanshan? Right here, Mohanshan Raybahar. And he is with NPower. And NPower has uh, generously come into the Senior Center to help, at our request, at Cornell Tech's request, to help with an assessment of the, of the machines, of the computers, and also an on, they'll do an initial assessment and then an ongoing uh, computer maintenance on the computer. So thank you, Mahanshan, for doing that. With you. Thank you. And she's not here yet, but I, oh, I, I thank Diane Levitt from Cornell Tech who helped put this entire, entire uh, day together for us. And I would be remiss if I did not thank, if I did not thank uh, the C RISA board, the Roosevelt Island Senior Association board of directors, who couldn't have been more helpful. Barbara Parker, and of course Dolores Green, and Diane, stand up and take one. <laughs> <laughs> You all know your city council member, Ben Kalos. He is so uh, supportive of Cornell Tech, but most importantly, he's very supportive of seniors, and particularly the seniors at Roosevelt Island. And he likes to say a few words. We can start by uh, echoing all the thank yous, and one extra big thank you to uh, Jane Swanson for her years of service for Roosevelt Island in uh, previous capacities and in her current capacity. Can we just give her and everyone she said thank you to a round of applause. <laughs> well, I love the Roosevelt Island uh, Senior Association. I spend so much time here and enjoy all the time that we get to spend here. Uh, before I was in the city council and even now I'm still a, a, recovering, uh, a recovering coder. Um, every now and then I do a line, and then I have to do another line, and then another line. One line is never enough when it comes to code. Uh, so uh, that being said, uh, coding is important, and software is important, and uh, the tools that we have on the internet are so great. And so I just want to thank all of you for coming out, uh, teaching the kids at PSIS 217 about how to write code. Uh, code is the new literacy. Uh, so it's huge, and the ability to uh, think one morning, hey, I'd like to write a line of code that might change the world, and then wake up the next day and, and do it, and then see that code and change things, is absolutely amazing. I had that experience in uh, 2007 uh, when I wrote the, the first voter registration verification system. It was about 100 lines of code, and uh, New York State implemented it, and then uh, a senator from uh, a senator uh, was uh, interested in doing it too, so he did it, and then he became president. And it was called "Got to Register." And now the DNC has it, and now everyone has a way to check whether or not you're registered to vote. But started with 100 lines of code, and then just kept growing. That's the power that we have today. And so I'm just so glad that we're teaching that to the next generation and that uh, people like you and the graduate students are learning it at Cornell Tech. Um, and then I also want to thank all of the uh, folks for coming out and uh, sharing with, the, uh, with our, our other generations and being intergenerational and making sure that we're not only just teaching uh, the younger generation, but we're working with others to make sure that everyone has access 
Uh, we're doing a lot on the City Council. We just launched City Council 2.0 to make sure that people can engage with government digitally. But it's these kinds of programs, digital, digital inclusion, that allows everyone to engage, whether you're a kid or whether you're a senior. And uh, we do these classes all over the district, and we're proud to have this one here with Cornell Tech. So um, enjoy Google. Google Maps is great. Uh, it's, it's such an easy way to go try to find places, explore new neighborhoods, explore new parts of the planet you may never have had a chance to go to. And then just being able to feel safe and secure when you're on the internet uh, are great skill sets. So I just want to thank all of you for coming out today and uh, enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, um, Mahan Chit, could you help with that one? Thank you. 